Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Moa aka Swedish Whiskey Girl and today we're back with an Irish whiskey. And this is quite an interesting one. And of course, it is from one of my little pouches again from whiskeyme.com. And this one I actually got for free because one of you used my referral code. So thank you very much for that one. And I hope you got one as well so you can enjoy it. And if you did, let me know what you thought. So this one here is the JJ Corey De Gale Batch 2. This is a 46% EBV and it is a company with a very interesting story. And if you want to learn more about Irish Whiskey Bonders, I definitely recommend checking out their website. There's lots of information there. But JJ Corey is founded by Louise McGuane, I think that's her name, and she wanted to resurrect the lost art of whiskey bonding. Of course, whiskey bonding has a really long history and on her family farm, she's now set up this business, which is very exciting. And this batch too is a limited release of about, I think 2,800 bottles. And it's a blend of about, I think it's 40% green whiskies and 60% single malts. And the green whiskey is a nine year old single green. And then for the single malts, 30% is a 17 year old single malt, 26% is a 13 year old and the remaining 4% is from a 28 year old single malt so it is a mix of everything but which is why it's quite interesting with blends that have the ability to be transparent because you can do so many things with it to get a nice flavour and not just take the youngest thing you have. It is of course a non-age statement and I of course know that a lot of companies aren't allowed to actually tell you what's exactly in the bottle and some of course won't tell you at all. But I'm very curious, I've seen this around social media for a long time so I'm very excited to give it a little try. Let's start on the nose. Ooh, very fruity and immediately makes me think of um, like fruity wine gums. It's quite tropical as well, like a tropical fruitiness. But very much wine gums. I'm just trying to think of flavours of wine gums. It's almost like when you open the bag and you have the mixture of all the different flavours. You have the green ones, you have the black ones, the yellow ones and the red ones. They all kind of come together in this fruity little burst. There's a very fresh fruitiness there as well. Very kind of jungle tropical. Hmm. Like it's a, a mix of different things. Like it might be like a little bit of mango, a little bit of pineapple, a little bit of guava, maybe a little bit of peach. Like it's um, just a big burst of fruitiness. Is this kind of crisp green sweetness there as well? Makes it feel even fresher, I would say. And this um, spring evening floral note that is quite dense and sweet that just mixes with the, all the other aromas. Let's have a little taste, Slangeva. Hmm. Like quite a floral fruitiness on the palate. It is still fairly fresh and it has more of a single malt feel to it than a green whiskey feel to it. Because it does kind of stick to your tongue a little bit with like an oaky, oakiness mixed with floral fruitiness. But it's, it also has this really pleasant finish, which is that kind of grain meets single malt warmth to it. But it's not as crisp sweet anymore, even though you can still feel the sweetness behind all the other aromas. It's definitely a big oakiness there as well. But the oakiness is quite perfumed in a way. Hmm. 
and it is still quite floral, that's quite interesting. But it's a different floral note to the nose. So the nose is quite tropical, jungle, springtime evening. It's quite elegant and quite mysterious, whereas the, the floral note on your palette is more bursting and ooky and hmm. has almost like a sour fruitiness to it as well like almost when you have a berry like something maybe like a gooseberry but not as tart but just towards that kind of feeling hmm. it's quite clean still and the oakiness has a bitter note that clings to your palate which I think is the initial taste I had that was what really clung to my palate and it's the finish you still have the oakiness there but it feels more perfumed and floral on the finish I would say it does have this touch of like stability that I think some of the older single malts might be bringing but it still feels quite vibrant and there's a lot of things happening, a lot of layers but it's yeah, quite floral the nose is gorgeous, I really like the nose still about a little bit of that wine gum prettiness as well hmm. An interesting one. I would of course love to hear what you think. Have you tried anything from JJ Corey? Maybe you have any recommendations for me because this is the first time I've tried anything from them and I'd love to try more in the future of course. Please put your recommendations in the comments here below and of course if you like what I'm doing here on YouTube and my other social channels I'd be absolutely over the moon if you consider using my affiliate links the next time you're shopping with either Master Malt, the Whiskey Exchange or the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. All the information is of course in the description here below as well, as well as links to my Instagram, my Patreon, my Teespring shop and my website if you're curious about that. And as always, a massive thank you to my wonderful supporters on Patreon. I'm so grateful you want to continue to support me on my whiskey journey. I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day. Slanjava, skål!